New at 5, we're hearing from the families of two teens shot and killed in the Bronx. This is surveillance video of one of those victims stumbling into a restaurant after police say he was shot. <laughs> and fearless teenagers with guns shooting an infant struck in the face with a stray bullet. There's no question that crime is up. There's no question that these horrific high profile tragedies need to stop. And there's no question that this fear of crime is real and growing. My name is Anaisa Santo. I'm 12 years old and I go to 328. How does violence affect the community? It affects the community because it does a lot of damage to people mentally and physically. There's a lot of people that want to live their life and you know, do things that they haven't done before. But sometimes that gets taken away by gun violence. And not only does it hurt the people that, you know, pass away from it, sadly, but it hurts the family because they're the ones losing it. Have you ever seen anybody emotionally? And if you have, have you ever stayed up for them? Yes, I have seen somebody and it, it kind of hurt me so bad to the point where I had to go up to them and help them. I made, them, I made sure they were comfortable and helped them. Anthony, I'm 12 years old and I go to South Bronx International. What does violence mean to you? To me, violence means to forcibly hurt somebody in harsh ways. How do you feel when people get through violence? I feel proud of them because they escaped something that a lot of people in their life wish they could. And a lot of people are traumatized after going through a bunch of violence. So I feel happy for people who do escape stuff like that because it's a good thing. yourself going through violence? I don't really feel com comfortable answering that question. I'm Alexa Hernandez. I'm 13 and I go to MS for 28. What is your definition of violence? Um, when you get, when you feel uncomfortable and, and you, you have bruises all over your body. Why, why do you feel like physical abuse happens? Because men can't control what they do with their hands. Have you ever seen or been through it yourself and why do you feel like doctors, therapists and many more always think of going to meds as the answer first? Um, I have my mom called me once. I mean, I mean, when I was, it started from when I was three and then and I did when I was ten. And I think that they use, use that helps for, with meds because um, they need to get away of the pain. What does violence mean to you? Yo digo que sucede por injusticias. Por ejemplo, si un chico está tranquilo y el otro viene a molestar y pelean, pues por ejemplo por eso. O si no, uno viene, los dos se molestan, se molestan y por eso sucede. fui acusada de algo que yo no hice, por ejemplo, estábamos jugando en la escuela y algo se perdió y fue a mí que me acusaron porque yo estaba más cerca, pero en realidad investigaron bien y no fui yo. My name is 
Cyan Alonzo. I'm 11 years old and I go to New Fatih's Academy. What does violence mean to you? To me, violence means disrespecting somebody in a negative way and adding harm to their life. If you have ever been cyberbullied, how would you feel? Um, I wouldn't have any self-esteem or I wouldn't have faith in myself because, yeah. With physical violence, have you ever seen it go around, not only in schools but in your neighborhood? Yeah. Um, I feel like it doesn't have to be only schools or neighborhood for it to happen. It can happen anywhere because not everywhere is safe. If you see somebody going through something emotionally, how would you fix that? Um, you don't have to think of them as weird or give a negative response to the way they're acting. You could always try to talk to them in a nice way or like be kind to them. Hi, my name is Mahogany Morales. I'm 13 years old. I go to MSD 28. Today, I'm answering not only questions about violence, but telling you guys that um, what violence takes us through isn't something that is solvable, something that is impeccable, that's something that could be fixed, but it might have a change, and we can, might make a change with it. So, I feel like with violence in schools and they don't understand that when people come to visit as some schools see they have visitors they come in but a lot of schools don't realize how like it's so closed in like once the visitors leave it's different there's so many fights and violence and everything like that but when it comes to us looking from the point of view of like how can we stop it there's no way to be stopped there's no way to like push it aside and say hey can i make a change I feel like that you can never make a change when it comes to violence in school just because you look at it as hey like I'm doing this but my school is tearing apart just because of the violence that wasn't wrapped around it so I feel like that's what a lot of people don't get from news reporters, um, newsletters, newspapers, news apps I guess they don't get that but this is for everyone to see what goes on this is for everyone to see what's under the sheet, what's under that coat of paint that just got ripped off. And we're stopping it today on just letting us know that we're being saved and we're being saved now.